Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I am here to give you a new hike this week. I am starting the hike at Moraine Hills State Park. I have eight miles ahead of me, and there are two loops in this hike. So what's special about this hike is that the, the environment, the, the land, is the results of glacial activity from uh, 15,000 years ago. And it's really neat because I've been doing a lot of glacial related hikes around this area. So last week was Glacial Park and uh, so and then Chain of Lakes is nearby and and so a lot of these rivers in the Chain of Lakes and Fox River and just a lot of the land around here has been so has been formed by these by this glacial activity that was happening uh, 10 15,000 years ago so so we got eight miles ahead of us dad you've got a whole big pack with you and I that's that's to be uh, getting you conditioned for the Ice Age trail that you're gonna be hiking now I say we talk about that in another video in another video all right, so we're having a bit of a hard time because there's signs saying wrong way for the biking trail. And uh, the hiking map that we're following has us going against the biking trail. So we keep getting signs for the wrong way, but we're making our way through and we are at the intersection. We're at junction C and we're gonna make our way to junction D now that goes under River Road, and it's a two-mile loop. It's the Fox River loop, and it's the, and it'll take us yeah. around the Fox. And I'm really looking forward to that because it's the Fox River again, and we of course. love hitting the Fox River. Yes, we're familiar with Fox River through Chain of Lakes very well, and uh, and all the the hikes around here are one way or another connected to the Fox River. All right, so we're gonna go under this. Let's, let's get under it. Oh, we saw a heron or a sand crane, a single lone bird that was uh, flying over Defiance Lake, just making bird calls, probably searching for his friends or a or a group to hang out with. Cause it was it was a lonely bird. <laughs> lonely bird. All right, so that's the underpass under the road. We'll catch you guys soon. Uh, what is the name of this trail part section? Junction D. Oh, but Fox uh, River. Fox River Trail. All right, so we're on the Fox River Trail, and uh, what a gorgeous day! It is March fourth. Yeah. And another great day. Clear skies. We're heading over toward the Fox River, and um, this is just really beautiful prairie or savanna or whatever this section happens to be. What uh, I find so fascinating is, I think we want to go this way. Pretty much all the hills around that we can see, which is you know the edges of the camera, are all glacier phenomenons of some sort. Uh, we keep having to read uh, definitions of some of these words because we don't know. Well like last week at Glacial Park we had to, or we, we learned about what canes were and they were the sand and gravel deposited by basically a waterfall coming off the top of the glacier. And uh, now we're discovering what moraines are. But well, my big word for the week was an esker, because uh, esker. doing research for Kennel Moraine North for the Ice Age Trail, there's a series of eskers, I guess, or one big esker, Purnell esker. And that is uh, like a came, where the came is debris 
from the top and esker is debris from rivers that are underneath right which is different from a moraine, a moraine which is just melt away debris when the whole thing melts back glaciers really they were doing the most yeah yeah what do we got for lunch today well, you tell me. I'm not exactly sure. You made the sandwiches today. I know it's your bread, and I know it's sunflower butter. That is correct on both counts. Oh, but you used the rhubarb jelly. Rhubarb and was it rhubarb strawberry or straight up rhubarb? Uh, I think it's straight up rhubarb. I didn't know this was here. I don't know why I didn't think it was here. Like a just, dam? Yeah, I just on the never, Fox River. Right, exactly. Just, I mean, the main Fox, the Fox Lake, and all the. The stuff that you hear about Fox Lake and all that, that's just north of here. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes complete sense that the, the drainage out of there, the Fox River, is going to have a lock and dam system, but it's never crossed my mind. Mm. I've learned so much about the Fox River area this year. I'm really happy about that. All right, we're just on a really cool path, part of the path right now, part of the trail. On the left side, there's like this gray, light, light blue, it's like iced over water. And on the right side, there's a dark blue uh, Fox River. You got some ducks diving for food or something, diving for food. <laughs> <laughs> Well said. Uh, uh, Ryan, Mr. Nature. <laughs> it's like the, um, the movie Strange Wilderness, where it's just like these completely unqualified like drug addicts like filming a nature documentary. Oh, right, yeah. It's like, come on, do something! <laughs> like yelling at nature to like be interesting. Yeah. We're still going. We're passing through the southern tip of Defiance Lake, or the marsh at the bottom of the Defiance Lake. Kind of out there. Um, the water's frozen or slushy-like, so they have a good uh, like irrigation system too at the at the end of it, sponsored by the Illinois Department of Natural Resources and Unlimited Ducks Incorporated. Save the ducks, save the wetlands. We actually read a really interesting sign on all of the life that depends on wetlands, all the life in Illinois that depend on wetlands, uh, including like, you know, a uh, hundred of, a hundred bird, different bird species and uh, 175 migratory bird species and some like, 57 of 59 mammals found in Illinois uh, like 60 different reptiles of like 62 so basically if you're living in Illinois you're more most likely depend on wetlands and that's why it's important to take care of uh, take care of this area because it's uh, bigger than just one one life my life bigger than my life bigger than bigger than the entire human species. There's tens and tens and tens of different species that, that depend on this area. So conserve Illinois, conserve Illinois. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Ryan, where am I camping next week? So dad, where are we camping next week? <laughs> well, let's hope the weather pans out, but the plan is which is the first part is going to definitely happen. You and I are going to go on up to Kettle Moraine North. In Wisconsin. Wisconsin, right. And uh, that's along the Ice Age Trail. Uh, and so we're going to start up in the northern part of Kettle Moraine North. Just kind of by the Sheboygan area. All right. Uh, we're going to park uh, kind of near shelter number four where there's a observation tower and a couple of facilities and things like that. We're gonna then hike north to shelter number five and camp out. It's gonna be cold. Yes, and then that morning I'm gonna leave. 
And then, right, so then we wake up the next morning, we'll have breakfast, and we're gonna hike back to shelter four where the car was, make whatever last minute changes I need. You will head back to Chicago. If I'm heading back to Chicago, what does that mean for you? It means I'm gonna be walking. You're gonna be walking, <laughs> tell me more. Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm gonna be doing about 40 miles, plus or minus, well, definitely probably plus, not minus, but at least 40 miles south from there. So I'll cover the entirety of Kettle Moraine North uh, and below that a little bit. So we're back on, we got a nice view of Defiance Lake. We're coming up on Nature Center here in a little bit. And uh, uh, this is a neat place. I mean, again, how many times do we say that for these hikes? Uh, one tip, the book has us walking counterclockwise and all the signs here tell you to walk clockwise. And so I guess my big change for this hike would be to do uh, as the signs say and walk with the grain of traffic. Obviously nobody's around here right now and I'm not sure, it may be that that's a COVID thing and these signs have only been up for less than a year. I mean, what my understanding is, is that it's a biking and hiking trail, but it's a one-way biking trail and a two-way hiking trail. So we're going against the biking trail on this hike. Yeah, it's still unnerving to see. We are coming up to the scenic overlook. Cool. Ryan's getting a battery. See the wrong way signs. What a gorgeous day. Hey, use those 360 controls, spin around. You can see that all these hills. All right, so we're coming up to the parking lot that we started at. Uh, looks like it's gonna be about seven and a quarter miles. At the beginning, we missed a small portion of the trail uh, just due to the fact that, you know, the, the trails are marked with wrong way biking signs and so that caused a little bit of confusion. And the turn we were supposed to take, we thought was just gonna lead us out of the out of the park. Anyways, we're coming up on the finish line. Uh, we put up some good miles today. We saw some cool things. We got to see uh, what is it, Lake Degenerate? No, what is it? Uh, <laughs> Defiant. Defiant. And Tomahawk Lake. Defi Defiant Lake, uh, uh, Tomahawk Lake, and then uh, uh, Fox River. Too. And the marsh. And the marsh and McHenry Dam. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot to see at Moraine Hills State Park. Uh, definitely I suggest it. There's a lot of birds too and it's very early for the season. Uh, so I have high hopes that this is a great birding spot. Uh, someone was ice fishing out in Defiant Lake. He put us on to some warm uh, clothing company. So that's cool. But uh, yeah, pretty good hike. Uh, lots of uh, lots of neat stuff, like all the the hills and mounds left from the glaciers about fifteen thousand years ago. And now we're gonna go get some food, and we'll catch you on Sunday uh, to do Ryerson Woods. Peace.